Hello and welcome. It's uh, Bill Sklodowski back for another day of uh, business tips for local and uh, home-based businesses out there. Uh, my website, the same, BillSklodowski.com. have a link to that underneath the video later on and also uh, several others where we've got some goodies for you for free today. Tell you all about that coming up. First of all, I want to tell you exactly what we do. Uh, our website and our coaching business and our training is all about helping local and home-based businesses turn social media into profits. So many people are out there doing their own thing in the business world nowadays and they struggle with trying to figure out exactly what they need to do on a daily basis or maybe even a weekly basis to make sure that they are getting their message out via social media to help promote their business, whether it be a local mortar, bricks and mortar business, you know, selling pizzas or doing plumbing or whatever, or a home-based business in any other, uh, any other number of businesses, whether that be uh, direct sales, network marketing, anything like that. I wanted to talk today for a moment about the two, yes, two pages that uh, on Facebook that every business must have. Two pages every business must have on Facebook. Talk about that in a moment. First of all, uh, for all of you replay viewers, thanks for joining me, appreciate it. Let me invite uh, all of you, whether you're watching live or via a replay, to um, check this out and feel free to share it uh, with anybody you know who is also doing their own local small business, uh, whether that be, a, like I said, bricks and mortar business or whether it be a home-based business. Doesn't matter, the tips and tricks that we share will help for both. Uh, you can share it, you can like it, I would love that, and I'll have the link to my uh, business Facebook page here in a moment, and you can share it uh, from there as well, along with my personal page. And also, if you have questions, this is important, mentioned this yesterday, if you have questions about marketing your local business uh, on social media, no matter what the outlet, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, you name it, uh, go ahead and post them below as well, and we will answer those on what we're going to call Free Coaching Friday. Free Coaching Friday, exactly that. Okay, the two pages that every business, whether it be a local business or a home-based business, must have on Facebook. Uh, if you've been in the Facebook world at all for long, you've probably seen these. And if not, maybe you need to take a note or two. If you're on Facebook, and obviously if you're watching this, you are on Facebook, you have your own personal page. What does that mean? Well, that's the page where you post, you know, what you had for dinner last night or the picture with you and the kids at Disney World or whatever it is that you're doing. That's your personal page. That's where you have your friends, your family, uh, whatever. That's where they connect, exchange what's going on in the world, that sort of thing. Everybody has a personal page. That's when you sign up for Facebook, you get your personal page. Now, if you're a business, no matter what kind of business you are, whether you're, you know, a local mom and pop store that sells widgets or you're Coca-Cola Incorporated, you also have to have a business or fan page. Now, you can use those two terms interchangeably, a business page, a Facebook business page, a Facebook fan page. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter what you call it, okay? And it will have instructions on how to uh, start that. If you don't know, I mean, you could always go to YouTube and say, how do I create a Facebook business page or a Facebook fan page? And it'll give you that. It takes about 90 seconds and you sign up for yourself and you have another outlet for your business to communicate with potential clients and customers through a business page. Your business, you need a business page, right? Only makes sense. Why is that so important? Well, the first thing I just talked about there, uh, a personal page is more for the personal stuff. You know, if your family is posting those vacation pictures, you probably don't want to be sharing that with your clients and customers who come and visit your business, or at least those that you want to market to. So it's kind of that separation of, what do they call that? Separation of church and state, right? You keep the family stuff on your personal page and you keep the business stuff on your business page. That's good. One of the other things, of course, is the ability to promote specific things on a page. Now, you can use Facebook advertising to promote any post on any page anywhere, but if you're going to spend the money, you might as well spend it in the most efficient way possible so that you get people to like, to know, to trust your business page specifically. Uh, one of the other kind of techie things is that if you have a personal page, you can only have, and I mean only, have 5,000 friends. <laughs> Right, that's in my business. That's what we call a high-quality problem. I've only got five thousand friends. Oh my, what am I going to do? 
Well, if you're doing a big business and you're in a town with any number of, uh, you know, people, I mean, more than a few thousand people, unless everybody in town is your personal friend, uh, and good job, by the way, if you're doing that. But if you're spreading your message to a bigger audience in a bigger city, in a bigger location, well, 5,000 might become a problem someday. And if you have a business page, there's, I don't think there's any limit on how many fans and friends you can have. I mean, Oprah probably has 20 million or something like that. I don't know. Good for her. But anyway, the idea is this. You're not going to be limited by the number of fans and friends you have. You're going to speak specifically to your audience, whether that be, uh, you know, for your product or your service or your location or your whatever. And you're going to be able to grow that page separately and independently of your personal page where you keep things separate. Again, church and state, family and friends versus business or whatever. For more information on that, again, I would just suggest YouTube and, you know, do a quick search on uh, how to set up a Facebook fan page, okay? Now, over at our fan page, we're also trying to build that as well. Me, personally. Uh, I will have the link to that below this video. I know I'm posting this, and by the way, here's a little strategy for you. If you're doing live videos like I am, and you don't have a big audience over on your um, business page yet, but you do have an audience, or at least you have some followers and friends on your, on your local home personal page, go ahead and post this video on your personal page. And then start eh, dropping the hint that you're going to be moving over to the business page pretty soon. In fact, if you really want the ninja trick, try this. If you're giving away or talking about certain content, content, we'll talk about that later. If you're just basically talking about your business and it's like, here's, here's three, reason, three reasons why you should pick our business over anybody else in town. You could start the video on your personal page if you have a lot of friends there, you know, that you're trying to move over to your business page. You could start a video over on your personal page, do the first tip, and then say, that's all for now, but in 10 minutes or 5 minutes, I'm going to be over on my business page and give you the other great tips. And here's the link down below, so just click on this and I'll see you over there in a few minutes. Go grab a cup of coffee and I'll see you there. Ah, slowly but surely you start to migrate your friends, your, 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 your friends who may have liked your page for the business reasons, and you're migrating them over to the business page where you can actually do better, do more business. Okay. I wanted to keep it a little shorter today. I know we've been, I had a big long video yesterday about introducing myself and talking about all the things that we want to do. Again, uh, my name is Bill Skolodowski from the blog of the same name, BillSkolodowski.com. The link to that is below. If you are working to engage your audience through social media, mm, what does that mean? We'll get to that. But if you're already into doing social media and you want to get better at communicating with that audience, how do I talk to them? What do I say? How do I reply when they have questions or comments? I've got a freebie on the website on social media engagement. Just stop over to BillSkladowski.com. You'll see it right there on the homepage. There's a really you know, wacky video of, of me and Wiley Coyote, one of my heroes. And uh, yeah, Wiley Coyote on my video. Uh, you'll see it there and you just drop your email address and I'll send it to you. It's easy. No big deal. The other thing, I want to give you a second thing today, kind of a little added bonus. And we talked about this yesterday. If you already have a business and you want to take it up to the next level or you want to get some additional tips and tricks on really building the business itself, I mean, the social media engagement piece on my blog on BillSkladowski.com is great. I've got another thing for you, and by the way, there's no reason that you can't get both of them, right? So that would be at the address we mentioned yesterday, which is superherobiztips.com. And look, I even I even made a little graphic for it over there. <sighs> How cool is that? Wait, I'll just superherobiztips.com. And it's all one word. There's no spaces in there. It's just such a long name. I couldn't put it all in the one you know, thing. So <laughs> go over to Superhero Biz Tips. There's a PDF there and an audio, which will step you through that, give you some great ideas on, you know, ramping up your business and really getting it going. So last but not least, let me ask you one more time, if you can, to either like or comment or both or share all, all three. My fingers are just doing crazy things today. All three, like, comment, share, and if you have questions, feel free to drop those in. If you're a business operator already or you have a home-based business or a local business and you have a question about how do I do this on social media or what's the best practice for this, feel free to drop that in the comments below and we'll be doing free coaching Friday. It's my intention to be here with you every day 
And uh, I'm two for two, so a little pat on the back to myself there. I know, it's no big deal. Talk to me in a month. We'll uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Questions or comments below, like and share, please, with friends and family, especially those who may have their own small business, whether it be a local, a local business or a home-based business, does not matter. And uh, we'll talk again tomorrow. So that's going to do it for today. Remember, SuperheroBizTips.com for the uh, audio and PDF, and also BillSkledowski.com, link down there for the social media engagement checklist. So much to do, so little time. All right. Breathe, take a moment, be cool, know that it's all going to be okay. <laughs> Even on a rainy day here in beautiful Sarasota, we know that the sunshine is coming. Okay, a little philosophy there. How about that? Thanks again for joining us, and we'll talk again tomorrow.